Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video we're going to be taking a look at Miku Miku Dance, and I'll be giving you a run-through of the absolute basics about using this program to basically animate uh, Hatsune Miku and uh, similar characters inside of this program. So it's not a 3D modeling program, but you can do animation with it. Um, so here in this uh, main section on the right, we basically have the view space where we can see the scene, including the grid and the different axes. Uh, X axis is uh, red, the blue axis is Z, and the green axis, which is vertical up and down, is Y. Um, now, the first thing you probably want to know beyond that is how to actually load a character into the scene. So you do that by going down to Model Manipulation, and you hit Load. Now this will basically open up the uh, installation directory of uh, Miku Miku Dance, wherever you put the program, followed by user file and model. So this is where you would add new models if you found any. And you have a bunch by default. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and pick, uh, let's just say, the default version of Hatsune Miku for uh, simplicity's sake. So select that and go ahead and hit open. It'll give you a little pop-up uh, saying who created it, what's the copyright, yada yada. Hit OK. And we should have our character inside the scene. Um, now, if you have the select mode uh, on, you'll be able to see all the different bones in the body. You can see a lot on the hands and then a few that are connecting the different joints for the arms and the legs. Uh, these are what we would actually select and target if we want to do animation here. Um, every 3D model is basically rigged up with these bones. Uh, and by uh, basically rotating or moving the bones, we can animate the different body parts. That's the basic idea here.